Hey Internet, this is Gunter with Mini Mishaps Games, and today we're going to be painting up a Goblin Barista. And make sure to stick around until the end, because I'll be telling you the story of Grimble Bip right after the glamour shots of the painting. That's right, the Getherverse has a goblin barista. He runs the coffee shop at the new Anfang Academy. And we're gonna jump right in. So here we go. First up, we're gonna give him the black vest. that black piece first because it's the if I have to paint out the black afterwards it's the easiest one that I know will cover up the, the spots that I messed up on all right after he's got his black vest next I'm going to do his skin which is sort of an ochre not to be confused with ogre skin this is more of a mix of yellow and brown uh, and a little white and cue the speedy painting Okay, after the ochre is done and the skin tones, this was actually easier than a lot of goblins I've painted because the, he only, he's actually dressed like a regular barista, so um, the, uh, not a lot of skin except for the hands and, and head there. But next up we are going to take some white and give him those nice uh, formal white sleeves to go with his, his barista work there. Next I'm going to pull out some gunmetal and that will be for the pot on the floor as well as for the tanker that he's holding. Oh, we're also trying a new format where I don't talk at the same time as the time lapse. So let us know if you like that format. I'm going to be talking and then time lapsing and then talking and then time lapsing but not doing them at the same time. Now I've got this nice maroon um, used for his pants and it's one of the colors that I use all the time along with the teal in the pots because they don't it didn't come with anything quite like that in the uh, starter set of miniature paints that I got as a gift so those are two of the pot paints that I actually use all the time is this sort of maroon and then the teal which I actually spoiler alert do use a little bit later but here comes those maroon pants So next up, I'm going to take the brown that's already out and I'm going to mix in a little bit more of the yellow and a little bit more of the white uh, to get sort of that um, tan that I want for his shoes uh, because it's one of the hard things is on the miniatures that have wooden floor as the base to make sure that the boots and the floor aren't the same color as each other. And I know the details come out in the wash but I still like to make them be a little bit different. So here come the boots. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'm gonna continue mixing colors we already have. I'm gonna actually take some of that gun metal and I'm going to mix it in with the brown. And that is actually gonna give me the brown glass look I need for all of the little beer bottles or sarsaparilla bottles or, or bean brew bottles, I guess it would be in, in uh, the Githerverse. So I'll uh, paint those up real quick here. Next up, I'm going to keep out that same brown that I have, but this time I'm going to add some water and wash it out into his face, get some of the details in the ears um, and across his hands and knuckles and things so you can kind of see those as well. For the drink bottle, the larger bottle that he's holding, I'm going to double load the brush with red and yellow and hope that it gives that kind of magical um, mixture kind of a look. You know, he's got some kind of big potion secret ingredient that he puts in his bean brew. Next up, I'm going to do the same thing for the back, except that I started to try to double load teal and blue, and they, they mixed too readily, and so I ended up just putting in a little more gunmetal with the combination of those two together to give it more of a glass look in the teal. The teal was overwhelming in this case, it didn't really take the blue, so the gunmetal kind of cut it a little bit and made it look more like glass. Next up, just going to put brown on the base and then uh, do the outside of the base in black and our little guy is going to be ready to go. And since this is our first time doing the sometimes fast, sometimes talk splitting like that. Let me know if it's weird or, or if you like it that the music is cutting in and out. Um, I definitely, um, we're trying to, trying to make things the most watchable and enjoyable, so let us know your preference on that one. So we're trying this as well, having a little bit less intro and dialogue at the beginning and putting some of that near the end of the video as a reward for anybody that stayed to the end. So the story of Grimble Bip is that he fell out of the sky portal. He was saved by a half dragon named Ninar and he assumed that then he owed a life debt and Ninar wanted nothing to do with that. So she says, uh, well, why don't you just go be the best goblin barista that there ever has been? And she meant it as a joke. He took it seriously and he began looking around for a place that would hire him as a barista. He came to New Anfang Academy and uh, he went to the headmaster there who was hiring and said, this was as they were building the academy, let me be the, the barista on campus. And uh, they also, as a joke, said, well, why don't you go and uh, find out where that is being built on the with the engineers that are building the city. They did that also as a joke. And then that, he went to the engineers and uh, he looked at the blueprints and he said, where is the coffee shop gonna be? And they all laughed and drew an X with a, with a crayon or a pencil as a joke. And he took that seriously. And now New Anfang Academy has the best coffee shop on the Neocap with the best goblin barista in the world. Grimble Bip.
So that's the story of Grimble Bip. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. And uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. And you can support us on Patreon or buy me a coffee. And we will see you for the next video. Thanks, Internet.